Hello friends, uh, welcome to Data Pandit. So let's talk about parameters in conduct IT. So this uh, this session is uh, about how you know the different uh, level of parameters are there in uh, conduct IT system uh, from from the beginning from the project level or environment level to the method level or to maybe probably to the component level basically because method are uh, constituting the actual graph run or you know, script run or an external program run basically. So uh, we are going to understand it, uh, how it happens. Uh, okay. So, so there are uh, many uh, levels actually, the environment level and then, you know, the plan, uh, sorry, the project level, pro, you know, parameters and then plan level parameters and then the parameters comes at the level of sub plan and that's then again deep to the task level and then method level okay and then the component basically each you know independent isolated you know unit of execution is a component right so this is uh, that and uh, before that uh, we will uh, see the this uh, you know the, the the in pictorial view we are going to see the life cycle actually so uh, if you look at this, uh, so this is uh, a plan, you know, this boundary, out, outer boundary is plan, which is denoted by, uh, you know, uh, I mean, this is the, you know, uh, environment basically, environment, which is denoted by one. And uh, within that, there is a plan, which is uh, this one, okay. And, uh, and the the, uh, the 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 flow or uh, you know happens from this one and from this to this plan level and then there is a this upper uh, flow is for another sub there is a sub plan within the plan and the lower uh, uh, flow is uh, there is a task defined and this task has you know different methods within that okay this is the, this completes this whole uh, you know uh, this this level of uh, parameters basically so environment level is denoted by one and then there is a plan level and sub plan level and then task level parameter and then there is a method if you take the perform method then uh, mo mostly the graph task is going to be execute some graph and in within that perform method which is denoted by 5c and then there will be a com graph running within that okay so this is the whole uh, idea uh, i mean how have so environment execution, uh, you know, execution and, you know, so the, these are the environment, so the parameter defined in, you know, plans environment basically. Maybe uh, using a plan sandbox or a project, you know, the, the plan which is, you know, a part of sandbox or a project wise, within, within the environment of that, if those parameters are defined, those will be evaluated or probably already evaluated as part of the execution of the plan okay then there is a plan level parameter so the parameter which are you know declared declared at the plan level are evaluated when you know plans start executing or start running so those parameters are getting evaluated and so this this plan level parameter we may also you know reference the execution environment parameter which are already you know evaluated so the values would be updated by you know using those Okay, and then within that, there is, you know, if we define a sub plan, so the values of those parameters, you know, can be passed over to the sub plan basically. Okay, and then there is a, there is a sub plan. So within the plan level, so the plan level parameter execution happens in the same as a sub plan. If we have sub plan, then those are similar to plan actually so plan is a kind of plan basically so so whenever uh, you know what is true for the plan level parameter is also you know true for the sub plan level parameter so the conduct it is going to resolve these uh, you know sub plan parameter whenever the sub plan is getting executed or so if if any sub plan is looping then looping plan basically then the re-evaluation of the you know sub plan level parameter happens whenever the new iteration starts okay so this is the, going to happen okay 
and there is a task level so the things uh, when so within the plan or within the sub plan there is a task so so whenever the task is you know going to be run then the resource allocation is going to be happening first after the resource allocation then the respective perform method is getting executed so as soon as the perform method is going to be executed going to run then only the evaluation of the parameter of the task is going to happen okay so this is need to be noted down because uh, when we talk about task level parameter this is not that the the parameters defined in the task task if you go to the task and properties then there are parameters so whenever the task is going to execute then only it won't evaluate evaluation happens that evaluation happens when the perform method is getting called so there could be a chances we have a, you know or we have a trigger method or an start method so those methods cannot use those parameter which are you know listed in the task properties okay so this needs to be taken care then the method level you know those parameters are getting evaluated and then uh, so depending upon the depending upon the you know uh, depending upon the you know construct of the plan we can pass the you know plan level parameter to the method level parameter right so we can declare any plan then we can refer those parameter so basically those parameter is going to be a Going, going to be available at the level of method level you know or task level which we call it as a so these parameters are going to be available okay so can we pass the parameter i mean uh, from the from the first task to another task so we have our uh, you know first iteration to the second iteration how so we have a dynamic param parameters right that we have already discussed in uh, one of the earlier video uh, in uh, so so that is the uh, clearly explained actually basically uh, while taking the example okay so if we look at this picture so, so what happens is uh, this uh, environment level happens and then plan level and then sub plan and then there is a task and these are the you know trigger method start method and perform method okay so these are the level 1 2 3 you know and 4 5 a b c d okay and if you talk about 5c then there will be a graph of graph and then you know, the component level parameter and so on so and uh, one more thing is uh, when we uh, let's say uh, we have a retry mechanism for some few of the methods what happens when the re re retry happens the evaluation of the parameter is going to be evaluated again when the retry you know when the as part of retry if you want to execute the uh, the particular method again then re-evaluation of the parameter is going to happen on another retry okay and uh, so if if we assign uh, some parameter let's say plan level parameter so if we assign the parameter using the now one and today's one so the now one and today one is going to be the value of you know is going to be consistent you know on on the whole execution of the plan okay so this needs to be uh, taken care actually so if you want to uh, really get the values of uh, timing for a particular particular level so if you want to know that so then use the you know now and today don't use no one and today one if you are using that then the anywhere we are calling again then the same values will be returned okay in whole execution of the plan this needs to be taken care and uh, so this is all about uh, you know how parameters evaluation happens in the conduct it so we have already talked about how parameter evaluation happens in the graph so in similar lines there is a this execution sequence okay this is a kind of uh, yeah uh, okay thank you so much